And all of that is really important. We're also held back by the internalization of stereotypes. Internalization or to internalize refers to taking a set of values or it could be knowledge as well and uh, making the knowledge part of your normal way of thinking. For example, to become a doctor, you have to be able to internalize the concepts of biology and medicine that you learn in medical school, which is the same for any field. Lawyers have to be able to internalize a sense of the law and just like anybody for any other job. Similarly, internalize can also refer to values. So organizations will oftentimes want their workers to be able to internalize the company values. And uh, the people who are successful at the company are able to do that. And people who do not internalize the value and people who do not internalize the values of the company oftentimes get fired. So to internalize means to make a part, integral part of your belief system. So you can say that uh, the United States is called uh, a melting pot and uh, immigrants are expected to learn the language and pass the naturalization exam to become citizens in future and they expect it to internalize the values of, of these countries like tolerance and uh, respect of other groups of people, other ethnicities and other races. That's correct. Similarly, other countries will have values that they want their citizens and sometimes their visitors to, to internalize. For example, China has a great respect for elders. So the children are expected to respect their parents in a very deep and loyal way. Some companies employ a cult of personality where the workers are expected to internalize the values of the leader. So the answer to what happens is all of the above to everything you said. So women graduate at higher levels um, than boys from college. They get more graduate degrees and they get more entry level jobs along with their college degrees. And then it just winnows out. And so winnow refers to a process where things or people are separated from the rest and they're either kept or they're gotten rid of. So if usually gotten rid of. So if you winnow out the um, company, it would typically mean that you start with a large group of people and by the time you're done you end up with a smaller group. For example, the Air Force is uh, prized for winnowing out its pilots only one third of the uh, recruits actually become pilots. The other two thirds are winnowed out. Similarly, the SEALs, the Green Beret, and other elite military organizations do the same thing. They only keep the best of the best. Winnow originally comes from separating the wheat from the chaff. And that's another expression comes, that comes from the Bible that's uh, a useful expression in itself, right? To separate the wheat from the chaff. Right, that's basically the same idea. The logic there is that they have a, a piece of grass with seed inside the grass. So if they, if they throw the grass up into the air, the grass will tend to blow away but the seed will tend to fall. So by letting the wind blow away the chaff, they're able to isolate the, um, the seed, which is where the value is. 
American Idol is a very difficult contest. They start with 50 dancers and they winnow out 49 of them. So there's only one set of dancers that can ultimately win the contest. ESL hyphen full steam ahead dot com. <laughs>